image compression is really a topic which everyone really kind of get fascinated about it. Well, if not fascinated that everyone is much more cautious about making the performance really top notch itself. And the majority of the key component, like if you really go to the any website itself, so the HTML, the JavaScript and the CSS, the code size is really minimum as compared to the image size, what we just really serve to the each and everyone out there. And by the thumbnail itself, you have just recognized that we have, we will really talk about the image compression itself and probably why should you really use WebP instead of JPEG, PNG, GIF or any other format itself. So we will just really discuss and deep down regarding it. One of the major issues is like, so everyone really want their website to be much more hyper performance and they don't really want that really it really act like sluggish itself so and the response time is really what in the business world it really matters to everyone else and we really don't want our customers to really just kind of wait for us to really kind of load that image for a long time itself so what we really need to do is to really just optimize and to really uh, uh, minimize the size of the image itself now what's the best way of to do it right now one thing you have to really remember that ultimately at the end of the day itself the image compression is just like the maintaining a balance between the image size versus the image quality itself now if you really did dr drastically drop the size itself the the quality will also really get in drop itself now what I'm really going to tell you is really about just from my experience about what I have really experienced like from my coding experience what I've really just kind of uh, what I have really just felt it's I'm just sharing with you your results may vary from your use cases itself so just take my suggestion with a pinch and a grain of salt itself so any format so if you have any really format itself so, and if you really want to use any format size any picture file size and if you really want to just kind of go and make it a load faster itself then really just what you have to really do is to convert your existing file formats like into webp or webm format itself now why you really do need to do is like so the webp format is essentially made by the google itself and it's really an open source uh, codec format for the codec format for the media file itself and then this format was especially really made for the website itself in general itself now what really of advantages really gives you uh, compared to the other itself so when you just compare with the compression uh, size and the compression thing itself when you really just kind of convert your original existing uh, image like let's say you have a jpeg format and you really convert it into the and now you really convert that format into the webp itself and you really just kind of go and compress it into the 50% or to the up to the 10% itself the difference that you really see is really dramatic itself really like you know and the kind of compression that the webp really offers is really awesome that i know when i really tried on my website itself which i'll be really linked down in the description itself and i was really kind of getting stuck itself so earlier which i have really downloaded all the images were really like more than 1 mb 2 mb 3 mb itself and when i just convert that format which was already in jpeg and to really convert into back into the webm format itself without any compression itself i was able to get down to the size of below 300 kb itself now imagine like where is 1.5 mb and where is the 300 kb itself and normally if you really go kind of go through uh, and if you really use that webm format itself you will really load much faster itself because normally the web uh, the image or the media size is really less for itself and also the major and the thing is regarding the webp is like it gives you and it is network optimized itself now what do you really mean by network optimized itself is like when you just kind of go through and if you really use the jpeg format itself it really gets loaded in the bunch of pieces itself and it really may take time to load on your website itself but the the way in the way that the webp was really kind of implemented and the the codec was really designed in such a way that it was really kind of give you and it was really network optimized itself to give you a better superior fast page and fast delivery speed itself 
so if you really want to implement this technique itself so and if you really want your pages to be load much more faster your media files should be load much more faster then like probably webm or webp is the ultimate choice for yourself because number one as i said it offers a really greater compression itself uh, with maintaining the highest level of quality itself that that is really not possible with a jpeg or png itself and second one is it is always a network optimize itself so like if and if even if you are the low speed itself it will kind of give you an better results as compared to the jpeg format itself and ideally you should really always strive to really bring down all your media file size especially for the image that is that should be below within 100 kb itself now now why this 100 kb where does it come from where well, that is generally my observation itself so any website or any social networking site that you go itself take for example facebook uh, instagram or any twitter itself they really compress the image into such a format that is really good in quality that is really high optimized that is really loads faster and one thing that i've observed you know really downloaded so as i've really downloaded a couple of bunch of other them so one pattern that i've really saw is like so their file size especially for the image size really ranges from up to 50 kb around um, and then less than one less than 200 kb itself but most of their photos are really within less than the 100 kb itself so if you really want to just kind of really uh, make your images load faster itself number one as i said use webp and really always just kind of strive to really bring down it uh less than 100 kb itself but but remember you really have to also be cautious about to really adjusting the size versus the quality itself so if you really have if you really been compressing the low quality image and it has been really around 300 kb itself and if you really bring down the size further and now it's still looking worse like so you really got now always do the like trading and other balancing itself so play with the file size versus file quality image find out the right balance with what suits you what suits you but really always try to bring down within 100 kb itself or something like that but if it's not possible which is fine in most of the cases and if you really want to just kind of really go on in high quality image itself then around 300-400 kb is fine and sweet spot itself so what is the support of this format and on around all site itself all all browser really accept the webp format except for the safari and internet explorer itself now why it's like it's a matter of debate itself so like this was it guys i really want to just kind of show you like kind of what is the better way of doing things what is the better way of compression things and this kind of thing if you really want to know like more about webp itself and how can it really benefits you um, in your project itself then i have i will mention now the link below in the description which is an official uh, google talk itself uh, that they have really just gone to in depth like how they have their made their codec compression format uh, how it can really enhance for yourself like why should you really always consider to using the web webp format itself and bunch of other cool stuff it is really about 55 minutes itself so if you want a really, really deep enlightenment about what is webp and how and why should you really consider using it just consider clicking that link and you will really get a really awesome stuff knowledge so till then stay stay subscribed to my channel stay connected and have a nice day